It's scary, obviously, talking about a disability, especially one that's a hidden disability, and then also one that a lot of people aren't very familiar with. But it's really a good thing if you just come out and you say it and have confidence when you say it. I was born profoundly deaf, and then I got the surgery to get the cochlear implant when I was two and a half years old. It's not like glasses, you can just put them on and you can see right away, or you put a hearing aid on and the sound's immediately better. And you have to train your brain with speech therapy, sound repetition, just to get used to what is that sound and kind of training your brain to develop those sounds in your head. My older sister also has it as well. She was always proud to talk about it. I always was the one that never talked about my disability. I just didn't really have the confidence to talk about it. But my past dating with a cochlear implant has been interesting. It just takes one sentence to say like, hey, having a great time with you. I have a cochlear implant by the way, so if I don't pick up something. But it's really hard to be that vulnerable like when you're on a hinge date or you're on a bumble date. And for some reason, I've always struggled just saying it flat out. I was like, so my dating hasn't been great. Let me change something about it. So there's something a little bit different about me, mm -hmm. and that is I'm deaf. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna be reading your lips a lot tonight. Okay. Being the first deaf contestant on The Bachelor, um, I really didn't realize how monumental it was gonna be. I wasn't sure how people were going to respond to it in terms of, oh, she's not deaf enough to be labeled like the first deaf contestant. She's not using sign language. And then for the response to be, wow, you know, I've never heard of a cochlear implant before this, or she doesn't know any sign language and she's deaf. That's something I've never seen before. People are curious. People want to ask questions. They want to learn more. I think the thing about the show is that was kind of the first time experiencing like, okay, that's the deaf girl. They only really show the conversations around my hearing loss. It's always just been something that's been a part of my life. You know, I'm deaf, I wear a cochlear implant. My disability is a, my defining trait. It's not all of who I am. It's good to have that representation, but at the same time, it just makes the disability and the deafness seem like, oh, it's a horrible trauma. Like she's been through a lot. No, like, yeah, I'm deaf, I wear a cochlear implant, but being deaf is not a bad thing. You know, it is hard, but bad and hard is two very different things. It's always been really important to me to incorporate my hearing loss into my platform and to share resources, to share information. I want to obviously share what my relationship is like with you know, my boyfriend Noah and how he supports me like as a deaf person. He just makes me feel really empowered when I talk about my hearing loss. I never feel like a burden. He can kind of tell I didn't pick up on something. He'll kind of chime in saying like, oh, this person said this. And that just makes me feel really included. He'll charge my batteries for me like in the morning, like he'll hand me my battery, just small things like that. Also just show like how normal life can be. I just love being able to share it with other people as well.